Welcome to Lashes Tony XO. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to do a what's in my bag. This is my bag. It's bigger than my whole body. No, not really, but it's pretty big. I got this bag on my birthday. Um, my husband took me to Atlanta, Georgia, and we went to Henry Bindle. I always want to call it Harry Bindle, but it's Henry Bindle. So, if you like Henry Bindle, give this a thumbs up, because I love him. Um, so yeah, if you look right here, it says the name, Henry Bindle, and, and it says New York, because that's where it originated from. The reason I got this bag, I was reading, um, a fashion magazine, and Taylor Swift had this exact same bag. Um, she had it. You can do this, like, I don't know if you can see. But this right here turns into a backpack. So she had hers as a backpack. And she was walking through, like, New York City or L.A. or something with her fashionable Henry Bindle backpack. And hers was in gray. The way Henry Bindle is, they don't, um... If they sell out of a color, they don't um, come back with the same color. They do different colors. So, when I was there, they had just, um, they were just getting a new package shipment in or whatever. Um, and it was taupe. So, I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to have the the first taupe. And it's gorgeous because it sort of looks like the gray one that she had. But it's just... A little more neutral, a little more, I mean, it looks great, but it's taupe. Um, so anyway, there's a zipper pocket here, which I carry absolutely nothing in here. It's very handy, actually, but I don't put anything in there. Not yet, anyway. My front pocket, I'm always putting my cell phone. Um, I don't have it with me right now, but I put my cell phone in it. I carry, I always carry my little gold Starbucks, um, what do you call these things? They're like sleeves. Yeah. I keep that in here because these are so hard to come by. If you want one of these, it's like, you can never find them. I usually find them around the holidays, and when I do, I like trying to stock up because you can never find these sleeves. I don't care what color, kind, whatever, they are hard to find. So, this always with me get a lot of compliments on it and then I kept this little the paper one because my youngest son um gave it to me he was like but mom I got you this one and I was like it's sweet so I just stuck it in here because he gave it to me and I love him so this is a grocery list so we don't want to read my boring grocery list um I haven't cleaned up this bag, so I don't know what the heck's in here. We have another zip pocket. Pretty freaking big, actually. The lining in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to see it. It's like a freaking awesome purple color. So if you're like a purple, purple girl, that is very hard to say. Um, it's like a satin finish. And it is a gorgeous purple inside the lining so keep back so those are just the side little details i really like the front part of it it's got a little lock right here it is not um you can't use it it's just for looks um but it is cute so anyway you can do this it has a little snap like let's say you're in a busy let's say you're at disney world and you're using this as a backpack you can actually snap the straps together and have, oh, my funny zip. And you can have it zipped and put it on backpack mode. This is kind of like a transformer bag. And you can, like, nothing's getting in this back, or you're not losing anything in this back. So, what I usually do is wear it more as a dress bag. So, I don't pop these together. I keep them open because if I'm out shopping, who wants to go through all that? Um, but if I was, like, a, you know, on a trip or something where I'm, I don't really need my bag as much, I would definitely do that. But, 
the purple lining again is just like gorgeous I love the purple lining yeah and then right here there's a gorgeous this is in the way there's a gorgeous little bow and it says Henry Bindle here Ooh, my perfume collection is having more problems so that's the first zipper inside and it comes with your Henry Bindle New York I guess it's like an authentic, authentic how do you say that word authenticity card whatever I don't know it's letting you know that it's for real um so yeah so I keep this card in case I ever want to sell it or something you know you have this with it so yeah that's pretty cool um also what do I have in here uh this is on pocket watch out boys I have mace I have a can of mace, yeah. Keep this. I said a can. I guess it's a can. I have mace. Keep it in my purse at all times. Um, I also have a gun, but I keep that at my house. So you don't plan on robbing me anytime soon, because you will. I'm not going to say anything else, but let's say this girl takes care of herself. I have a Michael Kors wallet, because anybody who knows me, knows that I'm a micro cores psychopath. Everything I own, clothing, shooting, jewelry, wallets, makeup, just everything's micro cores. So, this is my micro cores wallet. It's pretty big. It has a holds a lot of stuff in here. I really like the um there's a place for cash. Let's see if I'm balling right now. Oh, yeah, I'm balling. I've got three bucks. Balling. Okay. Um, and then I have my credit cards in here. I have my ID in here. I have receipts, receipts, and all that kind of crap in here. So, yeah, it pretty, it's pretty wide. Pretty open, open it pretty wide. Yeah, that's that. I probably should take things out instead of putting them back in. That would probably be like really smart. So then I'll be like, oh, I've already took that out. Okay, so we're gonna do it that way. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, this is my little girly patch. Okay, tell me if you're like me and you have to have a girly patch because my husband, this was my husband's idea actually because I am the worst person when it comes to that time of the month. I'm calling him, honey, honey, I'm out of pads. Honey, I have the cramps. Honey, Honey, I need you to go to the store. I'm not at home right now, and I can't do this, and I need you to go get this and run and run, honey. Run as fast as you can. Be my hero. And go get this and go get that and go get this. He's like, why didn't you bring your emergency pad, whatever pouch with you that I told you to keep in your purse, lady? And I'm like, he's right. I need to do that. So that's what this is. I keep my little emergency pads. I keep my all toys. Mint spray. My husband bought me this thing, so maybe he's trying to tell me something. I don't know. And then my favorite restaurant in T Town, Del Palma's, is I told you Italian. Love me some Italian. These are toothpicks. Madison for female reasons. Um, so yeah, I usually carry like two, at least two or three of these, but, um, yeah, so I haven't refilled my little baggie, but this is my, just like my little emergency kit, I guess. Ooh, a little emergency kit. So I can be see it. There's nothing, I don't understand why they don't have stuff like this in a women's bathroom, people. Why don't we have stuff like that in a women's bathroom? So... Oh my gosh, I just noticed that my bed, I don't make beds unless people are coming over. And I didn't realize my bed was atrocious. So, please don't leave any nasty comments about how trashy my bed is. Because we just got bought a brand new comforter set. And oh my gosh, it is so comfy. Where did we buy it? We bought it at Ross. And it's so 
copy. Ross is like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. So you get like a really nice quality with a really good deal. So, yeah. Um, I carry, sometimes I carry a hairspray with me. And this is my favorite brand of hairspray. Um, I don't really branch out on hairsprays. I don't know why, but I have the hand sanitizer. This is, um, Bad, ba no, not Bad and Body Arts. Ulta. And it's Mandarin Mint. And I think why I got this was, I think they might have had, like, a soap in the Ulta bathroom. And when I was using it, it was just, just freshness of citrus. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna go get me a little hand sanitizer of it that over here because we've already been through that pocket okay so pocket pocket pockets they are one two three pockets inside one two three pockets outside and then there's a huge like hole where, where I keep my hairbrush because you know what I'm saying a girl can never have her hair looking like she ain't trying I know I need to do some roots, but I don't need any comments about my roots because they're going to be done. I just, I like, I don't really like to do too much bleaching just because it, my hair gets so dry and damaged, but yeah. Okay, so I keep this little brush in there. Um, what else do I have? Not much more. I don't keep a lot in my purse because if I had very heavy on my back and I already have these puppies to weigh my back down and then a heavy bag on top of it is just not good. So I carry this, um, the leave-in uh, conditioner and I carry this just because sometimes when my hair is very tangly, what I will do is I will spread my brush and I just feel like it goes through my tangles like a jet. I don't know, it just really... I don't even know if that made sense, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Also, I have my brand new, <sighs> that looks like crap, but I also have my brand new sunglasses I got for my birthday from Zara, and the cat eye is like so in right now. If you don't have cat eyes, where have you been? Like, if you don't have cat eye sunglasses, you need to go YouTube pair because that is the trend for summer 2015. I'm not kidding you cat eyes which I'm all about because my icon is Marilyn Monroe boop, boop, little, boop. no that was not Marilyn Monroe that was Betty Boop so I don't know what I'm doing but yeah so these are really like retro cool looking little cat eye sunglasses I got from Zara Woo! if you hear my little scratcheroonie over there it's my little puppy and I might let her be in this video she is mad. She's been tearing up my stuff lately, and I'm mad at her. Um, what else did I bag? That is everything for my bag! Yeah! Okay, so that is my What's in My Bag video. And it is my Henry Bindle What's in My Bag. And it's huge. It was worth the money. Um, I think I paid... Oh crap. I think I'm a little over 300 for this bag. It's called the Jet Setter. So it's basically the price of Michael Kors bag. Um, yeah. So if you want to see how you can make it, um, a, what do you call it? A backpack. I mean, you can do so much. You can take this off and just use it like a little handbag like that. Um, you can... do this and it makes a um, backpack and I'm going to show you if I can do this in like one minute I'm going to show you so I'll pass that in yeah let me put this up. Huh. 
a made it too tight, but that is how you make it a backpack. Of course, I made it too tight on me, naturally, but yeah, you can make it, you can make it a backpack, so yeah. That is that, and um, or like I said, you can just have it as a little, little cute little arm thingy. I don't know what do you call that, arm thingy. It's called an arm thingy. Or you can take the clips off the back again and make it just a regular long strap. Or you can even do a messenger crossover bag if you want to do that. So that's all I have for my bag. Sorry, it was kind of boring. But, yeah, I don't carry, like, a whole lot of crap in my bag. Unless I'm, like, going on a trip. I will, like, stuff everything in my bag if I'm going on a trip. Like, oh, I need this perfume. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. That's why I'm on trips. I'm like, what if I need that? Come on, girls. You know what I mean? Comment below if you know what I mean. And comment below... Name one thing that you have in your bag that you cannot live without. That you cannot have in your bag. Name. I don't care what it is. It can be your medication. It can be a lipstick. Whatever. Comment below. Let me know what number one thing you cannot live without in your makeup bag. Or your, not makeup bag. Your, your purse. Your bag. Um, mine would be for me... Probably my hair products. My sanitizer. Yeah. These are like... Gotta have these things right here in my bag. Because my hair is always a mess. So, I'm always having to brush out the tangles. It gets really tangled. Um, yeah. So, these products are a mess. Sometimes I'll bring perfume if I'm going to be around a lot of people or whatever. But I usually don't bring perfume. Um, unless it's like one of these little stick ones that are like really light. I can just throw it in there. Um, but yeah. So that is my what's in my bag haul. I hope you really liked it. And, um, thanks for watching. And please subscribe to Lashes Tony XO. Please give this video a thumbs up. And I just want to say, mmm.